Hi, my name's Dave. I'm a respiratory therapist who works for Gettinga, and today we're here to talk about NAVA, Neurally Adjusted Ventilatory Assist. NAVA is a mode of ventilation that provides both a proportion assist and synchrony using the EDI. The EDI is the electrical activity of the diaphragm. NAVA can be used both invasively and non-invasively, and it can be used in all patient categories, neonatal, pediatric, and adult, provided the patient has an intact respiratory drive and there are no contraindications to the insertion of the EDI catheter or the exchange of the existing catheter. Now, ready to begin NAVA, you'll require four things. You require NAVA software on your ventilator. You will need an EDI module and an EDI cable and an EDI catheter. We will now be required to perform an EDI module function check. We'll do this simply by inserting the EDI module into the ventilator, taking the NAVA cable and plugging it into the test port. The ventilator will recognize that we have plugged this into the test port and it will automatically perform the function test. It will also inform us that we've passed the test. It's now time to pick the proper catheter size. In order to do this, you will have to know either the height or the weight of your patient. The length of the catheter has the electrodes in different places. This will be important to transmit a proper EDI signal from the diaphragm to the ventilator. Now that we've selected the proper catheter, it's now time to determine to what distance the catheter should be inserted. We do this a very simple way. We do a next measurement. A next measurement is a measurement from the bridge of the nose to the earlobe to the top of the xiphoid. We can accomplish this by using a tape that comes with the EDI catheter, which has a measurement on it. And this one also helps us if we're inserting via the mouth or through the nose, it will tell us the exact length to insert the catheter. If we use a regular tape, moving forward, we'll be able to show you on the servo ventilator how the servo ventilator will help you with the proper insertion distance of the EDI catheter. And now we see the EDI catheter. This is a 16 French catheter. It comes pre-lubricated. Simply dip the tip of the catheter in water to activate the pre-lubrication. What we're gonna do now is, we're going to use a recorded simulator to demonstrate the position of the EDI catheter on the servo U ventilator. From the main screen on the servo ventilator, select the NAVA Quick View. The NAVA Quick View will take you to the workflow screen. Select the workflow screen, and throughout NAVA settings, there is a contextual help and informational text to guide you when needed. Now go to the calculation tool. If you are using the EDI catheter measuring tape, you won't need to use the calculation tool. However, if you have used a standard measuring tape, you enter the size of the EDI catheter, oral or nasal insertion, and enter the next measurement. Then you will get the insertion distance. This is important. Always follow hospital routines to check the positioning of the EDI catheter when it is used as a gastric feeding tube. Continuing the workflow, press on EDI catheter positioning. Verify the position by analyzing the ECG waveform. Both the symbols on the representation of the EDI catheter and the color highlights on the leads show where the EDI signal is strongest. If no EDI signal is detected, there will not be any indications. The positioning arrows can only be used to fine tune the catheter position and to guide which way to move the catheter, either up or down, when there is a reliable EDI signal. If the EDI signal is low or absent, the arrows should not be used to adjust the catheter position. If the upper leads are highlighted, gently pull out the EDI catheter until the pink highlights appear in the center. If the lower leads are highlighted, insert the EDI catheter further until the pink highlights appear in the center. On the EDI catheter positioning screen, you will note that the pressure waveform in yellow and the pressure estimated waveform in gray are located at the bottom of the screen. Date stamp. The final insertion distance can be entered here and it will have a date stamp. After entering that distance, it is now date stamped. If you have a low or missing EDI signal, there are several things you may want to check. You should check to see if the sedation level is proper for your patient, if they're not over sedated, if they're not over assisted or over ventilated, if the patient has phrenic nerve damage, or 
is the EDI catheter simply not in the right position. Now go to the Set Nava Mode tab. The Nava Mode is divided into Nava Mode and Pressure Mode. The apnea time is also set in the Mode window. The Nava level can be set in the catheter positioning window, and when it is changed, the pressure estimate changes accordingly in the curve. But what is the Nava level? The Nava level is the factor by which the EDI signal is multiplied to adjust the amount of support delivered to the patient. So the Nava level reflects the amount of work of breathing that the servo ventilator will take over from the patient. The appropriate Nava level varies for different patients since they require different support levels. It may also need adjusting over time in the same patient. When you're satisfied with your settings for both trigger and Nava level, and note that the ventilator brought over the PEEP and the FIO2 from the previous mode. Now, select NAVA and go to the user interface. And now, as you can see in the left-hand corner highlighted, is NAVA in white. The EDI curve becomes visible. There is also a shortcut to get to the EDI catheter positioning window. Remember, always set proper alarm limits. Also, the message volume delivery restricted is displayed. The pressure is limited to 5 centimeters of water pressure below the set upper pressure limit, which restricts the volume delivery. This is very similar to the alarm that we have in volume support and PRVC. Consider increasing the upper pressure limit if this message is activated. The EDI signal is trended and you can see it up to 72 hours in the trends window. So when you view the main screen, you can see the EDI peak and the EDI min, both graphically and digitally. And from there, there is a shortcut to see the NAVA positioning window. Press the additional parameters arrow to access the EDI peak and the EDI min averages. If you want to stop ventilation and continue to monitor the electrical activity of the diaphragm, this is possible in the EDI signal in standby. The EDI signal can be monitored as well in standby as long as the EDI catheter remains inserted. The EDI signal is trended and you can see it up to 12 hours in the trends and the EDI monitoring window and up to 72 hours of trends when you choose the trends menu. NAVA uses the EDI signal to control the ventilator and assist the patient's breathing in proportion to and in synchrony with your patient's effort. Thank you for joining me today as we presented NAVA on the Servo U ventilator. And please join me in watching other training material on our Getting a Website.